Hey, and welcome to part two of how to move your blog over to Squarespace. And in this video, we're going to be doing moving from WordPress to Squarespace. And in the last video I did, it was blogger to Squarespace. So if you've come here and you have a blogger blog that you want to move over, you're in the wrong video, click here and I'll put a link to the blogger video there. So today we're going to be talking about WordPress. There's two different ways that you can do it for WordPress. So I'm going to sort of go through it and I'm not going to see it right through to the end because we I kind of it kind of ends the same as the last login video but I'll explain further as I go through. So this starts pretty much the same way as we did with the blogger one. So you want to get into your Squarespace homepage, um, get your dashboard up, go down to settings, go down to where it says website and then advanced and then import export and you want to import, let me just clear that as the last one import um, your blog and then you'll get this screen here so you can choose where you want to import your blog from so we are doing wordpress today so i'm going to import wordpress so this is a little bit different from blogger when the blogger one we just have to put a url and it pulls everything in with this one you need to put your wordpress url and the login that you use for wordpress as well and a password that you use for wordpress so it's all of your sort of details that you need to log in to WordPress and things like that. So I'm not going to see this through right to the very end. I'm not going to put a WordPress blog in and import it or anything like that because it'll take way too long. As long as you have your WordPress URL, your login and your password, click begin import and it'll just start importing all of your stuff um, into Squarespace. So it'll be appear down here kind of where it's up to and how long it's got to go and stuff like that. And then once it's done, it'll say success and that's it. You're done. Um, if you do want to sort of see that process go through, uh, then have a look at the blogger video because that is pretty much the same sort of thing. It's actually the same process. So that is that way. So this is the easiest way and most basic way. And then you also have an advanced way, which there may be some circumstances that you may need to use this, but most of the time the basic way should be fine. Um, but if you do need to really get down to the nitty gritty of it, then if you click on advanced, and you'll need to upload your XML file. So to do that, you need to head to your WordPress blog, sign in, get all your stuff, get to the dashboard. So you have this here, and then you need to find tools and then you'll have import export. So we want to export the um, blog. So click export, and then you can choose what you want to export. For this, I'm gonna just choose all content, um, but you can pick which things you want to export but if you're going to move an entire blog over then you kind of want all the content so once you've done that click download or export file and that will very slowly download it so as you can see here it is being downloaded and see that says xml file so once you've downloaded that go back to your squarespace and in the advanced settings you'll see Pro processor standard wordpress so just keep that the same um, unless you have a different formatting language in that case you can just choose which one of those yours is and then you just have to add the xml file you just downloaded so there's mine open it up and we've got it here and then you just click begin import and that'll import the blog for you so this is what will happen as well once you click begin import if you do it either the basic or the advanced way, this is kind of what appears. Um, oh, if you do that, it gets really big. Um, yeah, so that is a lot faster than the blogger one, actually. And then once that's done, I'll go through kind of where you can find it um, and how you upload it and stuff like that. It's pretty much exactly the same as the blogger one. Um, so basically, wait for this to finish. It'll say success. And then once it's done, you want to oh, see like that. And then you can just clear that if you need to. And then once it is all uploaded and done, go back to your pages. And then down in the not linked section, you should see the blog there. That actually might be the blogger one. Yes. So if it doesn't appear straight away, so like my other, my WordPress blog isn't actually there yet, just refresh the page and you should be able to see it. Do, do, do. there we go so it's imported the actual blog 
and all the images and stuff so it's even imported like the quotes that you've put in um, and any images and stuff you've put in it'll also import any comments that you've got if you have WordPress comments um, and also it's imported like all your categories and things like that so it's actually very impressive how it's formatted nicely it never used to be formatted nicely whenever you imported it in and you'd have to go through and like check everything but everything is nice I like the way that it puts the, co the quotes in for you which is nice so yeah so once that is up there um, it's also imported in my about page as well from the blog um, so if you have any WordPress pages <coughs> then that'll get imported as well and then once you've done that you basically just need to set them live so again this is exactly the same as the blogger one just click on the page settings and then click enable and save and that will enable the blog and then you can just sort of choose where you want it so you can either not link it or you can put it in your navigation so that is how you import a WordPress blog into Squarespace. Very, very simple, very straightforward. Squarespace are fantastic for making things as easy as possible. So that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was helpful, if you found it helpful, if you enjoyed it, remember to give it a big, th bing, a big thumbs up, a big thumbs up, and comment down below what kind of things you want me to make video tutorials on, or if there's anything that you're struggling with at the moment. Um, I'd be more than happy to help. So that is everything. I will see you soon. Remember to subscribe to the channel and yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.